here's how to write vertical text in Excel. So up here, I have a label that tells what these headers mean. I want the same for the months down here, although it is pretty obvious that they are months. But uh, if I wanted a label like that, I would place it right here. And then I would want the text to be vertical instead. Uh, otherwise, there's no space for it. So I want it to look like this. And let me show you how to do that. Select the cells first and then merge and center it. So it becomes one big cell. Now write the text you want months like this. And as you can see, it looks kind of silly. So we will need to turn this text around to angle it differently so it becomes vertical. And we can do that up here from the home tab over here in this little button in the alignment group. So click here. And from here, you can do all sorts of things with the angle of the text. And first and foremost, you can make it vertical text like this. In a way, it's still horizontal, but the letters are stacked on top of each other like this. It's a little bit confusing to look at, in my opinion, but it's useful in some cases. But if you want the true vertical text, you can click up here and rotate the text up or down. Typically, you want it to be up. So the top end of the letters are pointing away from the data you want to describe. So like this, and then middle align it up here and uh, format the cell a different way, just like I did up here. Or you don't have to do that, but you can obviously. So click on the border that you want, if you want any, and select a color like this. You can probably make it bold as well to fit it better and decrease the letter size like this. And there you have it, a description of what these headers are, just as you have a description of what these headers are. If this video helped you, please click the subscribe button below to show your appreciation. And if you want another way of achieving kind of the same here, you could split the cell up here into having these labels instead of having them around the data like this. You can just have it in this cell up here. That's what I did over here. And you can learn about how to do that in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.